Well, you guys got another video here for you. In this one we're going to be looking at how to update your PC and keep you safe from malware. Now I'm not talking about Windows updates, I'm talking about third party software. That's really important today because malware is attacking uh, machines with third party software, i.e. Flash, Java and these uh, Adobe Reader and things like that. So you've got to really make sure that all those are up to date and this includes browsers and all these other types of uh, third party software that you have installed on your system that probably gets neglected by a lot of people and this is probably why uh, malware writers have actually concentrated their efforts on attacking them areas. So let's look at a free program we can use to actually uh, keep our system up to date and one of them is called Patch My PC. It's a free um, patch management tool that you can use to uh, scan your system and it will tell you that all, which ones are out of date and which ones are, are up to date. Now you can actually scan up to 89 third party applications with this program in one fell swoop and it also does a, a complete mass update of all those in one fell swoop as well and it's a portable application. So let's have a look at it in action. So I'm going to quickly fire this up. I'm going to run this as administrator, I've got it on my desktop here. Now this is really important to run these types of programs and as you can see here the ones that are in red are the ones that are out of date. So as you can see we've got Flash that's out of date, we've also got Firefox is running out of date, also Java is out of date here, QuickTime, iTunes, all these could be potential threats to you in the future because if you don't keep them up to date what's going to happen is it's going to be a weak point for malware to attack. So it's always advisable to keep these up to date. So let's uh, have a look at the program itself. You can see it's saying here we've got 94 important updates. So if I clicked on this, this will give me all the Windows updates that I could actually update as well, which is very, very useful. And as you can see, it lists them all up there for you, which is nice. And they're all red to tell you that these could be installed uh, on the system and they're high priority. But this is a virtual box, so it doesn't really matter for me, really. Um, but as you go through here, you've got the options here, and you can tick them uh, whatever you like. And we've also got the startup items, which gives you a couple of uh, ideas of what's going on. And I can see some areas here that need some attention. Uh, but it just gives you an idea of, of what's what on the system. You've also got an uninstaller here, which allows you to uninstall as well, which I find uh, quite good. Uh, normal uninstall, or you've got re remove program from registry, you right click on it and you get all these extra options available to you. So it's a very powerful little tool. The donate buttons here if you find it very useful. Justin's done a lot of work on this program and I think it's a good start and an awesome little program and it'll be uh, pretty much as time goes on it's just going to get better and better. So let's have a look at the actual um, update system here. You can also see other and you've got uh, 7-Zip, Advanced Secure, uh, System Care, and all these other types of programs that you, it will actually work with and keep these up to date, like Foxit Reader, uh, FileZilla, and, uh, and loads of other types of uh, utilities here you can see, and programs that you could use. KeyPass, another good tool, and uh, the list is endless, really, so Malwarebytes. So all you'd need to do here, if you've got these on the system, you could also update these as well. So this is on the other other tab here, and you can come down to options and tools. You've got the little tabs along the top as well as up here as well. Okay, and your Windows update. So that's that actual program. There is another one that I've used for many a year, and it's a very powerful tool, and it's made by uh, Sukuna, and it's a very powerful tool. And I've used this for a long, long time. It's probably my most favorite out of the two uh, for, because I've been using it for so long. Um, but this is a very powerful tool and it's free as well. And I'll give you a little look of what this uh, actually looks like. I'm going to run this. And you'll see this uh, actually firing up. So this is the actual program. And as you can see it here, um, it gives you a score of 61%. And this is basically um, going to be doing the same thing as Patch My PC. But as you can see, it's installed in Java. This will take care of it all behind the scenes as well. And uh, we're just going to let this update. And as you can see, we've got click to update here, click to update. And you've also got loads of other areas, services, uh, Java. Um, obviously, we've got Skype here, 
uh, Mozilla Firefox there's quite a lot and all you'd need to do is run a scan and these would show up everything on the system everything in green is up to date and everything that shows up here is out of date and it wants to update these and you can see it's updating them in the background and once it's updated them um, it will, you can run another scan and it will give you another final score of what your system is running like so it's very very useful uh, I'm not going to go too in depth on this I'll probably do another a video on this program but all in all that's how that basically works now don't uh, discard uh, patch my PC I do like patch my PC I've only just uh, stumbled across it um, about a month or so ago and so I wanted to just share it with you but there's no harm in giving them both a go I think it's worthy a shout uh, patch my PC and also Sakuna is very good as well so I hope you found this video useful my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos guys hit that subscribe button also rate and favorite my videos if you enjoy them and uh, also stay tuned and I'll be making more videos again in the future and if you haven't followed me on uh, Facebook at the moment, then obviously go to my YouTube channel and you can click on my Facebook page there, which you can follow me there and also on Twitter. And if you've got any video requests for videos, then give me a message on YouTube and I'll do my best to make that video for you. And if you've got any problems with your PC that need help, then post them on the forum and you can get that from my YouTube channel as well. Okay, so thanks again for watching guys. Thank you for your support. Bye for now.